sports theme, actually, for our family physio segment. Uh, Steve Brown joining us once again, the, uh, the president of the company. Uh, and you are bringing soccer to our attention today. Yes, uh, we have um, our FC Capital City Soccer Club in here this morning, and uh, they're going to tell us a little bit more about it. And uh, we're officially their uh, physiotherapy partners and mm -hmm. uh, training partners. Uh, and it's been big. A training camp has been underway for the Capital City FC, which is a great expansion team. Uh, Sean Harris is joining us. He's the head coach. Casey's one of our players. He's a defender. Uh, we're, he's, he's very injured right now. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Sonia Rigo is joining us as the physiotherapist. Are you seeing right now uh, the launch of soccer season, a lot of yeah. different uh, uneven surfaces, people are back out, and some of the injuries that uh, we're looking for right now? So the most common thing that we see is ankle sprains, and then we have our knee sprains, and then the muscle strains so that's what we have here with Casey he's got a chronic hamstring strain so what we're doing with him is a lot of soft tissue release so just taking um, the muscle at the area where it's injured and then stretching it and releasing the muscle at the same time so it's a little painful. I but was going to say, the end, for someone that's hurting, this is probably not the yeah, most enjoyable experience. But after it's all said and done, it really helps out. And so this is, uh, I mean, we're looking at elite athletes right now. Uh, certain mm -hmm. things that you would suggest for uh, for those that are just picking it back up, playing their pickup soccer once a week, or some of the kids that are heading there, uh, in terms of injury prevention for them to head out? A lot of warming up before and stretching mm -hmm. before and afterwards definitely helps prevent. And if you're starting to see some of these injuries increase, ankle sprains and knee yeah. sprains, definitely you want to be able to come in and start doing the rehab. Exactly. The earlier we see them, the better it is. Hopefully you're not seeing too many of the uh, of the players. Uh, it is a huge uh, expansion season for the Capital City uh, FC. Sean, it's been, uh, training camp's been underway since mid-April? Mid-April, yep. How are things going? Uh, it's terrific. It's, you know, I mean, it's, it's one of those things that it's a new city for a lot of us and it's a new season, but like I said everything starts Friday night for us, so we're, we're, ready, we're ready to go. There, this is a true international flavor to this team. A couple, there's some Canadians on the squad, but really, you're drawing talent from all over the world. Yeah, we've been fortunate. I think we've we picked some of the best young Canadian talent, um, not only here in Ottawa, but the Gatineau region, kind of pushing the Quebec and the Carleton region. We have um, boys from Toronto and BC as well. Um, but also we have players from the States that have done very well as university players in the States um, and international players. We have players from Brazil, Jamaica, Bermuda, the Caribbean. So I think, like I said, we have, we have a very good diverse team at the end of the day that hopefully is, is very competitive and, and fun to watch all summer. Speaking of what it is to, to watch this team, what are we looking at in terms of the level, looking at where they rank, in, uh, you know, under the soccer umbrella? Yeah, I mean, it, it's obviously a second division level to Major League Soccer, which most people are familiar with, but it's a level right above that. So in this this city when it's four and a half hours to get to Toronto or um, you know I have to get all the way over to BC to the other side of the country essentially you know this is something that's close it'll be family oriented it'll be a great um, great atmosphere mm -hmm. being in Mooney's Bay where we are at Terry Fox and I, I think it'll be something fun as the weather improves hopefully yeah trust me a lot of the players that are coming in from out of town I, I trust it becomes a beautiful place in the summer to play uh, you've got the big night tomorrow night yep. uh, announcing the roster and some of the sponsors yep tomorrow night you know like I said the, the city's been great we have some great sponsors including family physio um, the city has been behind us I think it's more of just getting the message out there right now that you know there, there is a professional soccer team in town it will play at a venue like Terry Fox in Mooney's Bay and you know I think like I said it's a big soccer town at mm -hmm. the end of the day and I think it'll be fun for I think the, the, the weekend players as well as, as the families to, to come out, I think it'll be a culture that will support all of that. Which is wonderful. Such a huge uh, recreational soccer city here and competitive as well. Seasons are starting. Uh, make sure that you take care of your own, your own soccer, warm up, uh, make sure you take care of injuries, physios there uh, if you need some help. I love the partnership. It works yes. for the two companies. Uh, and the opening game is Friday night at Terry Fox. Uh, Mooney's Bay, what time is game? 7 p.m. CapitalCityFC.com. And who are you playing? Uh, we're playing Toronto, Croatia. All right, so there you have it. Uh, good luck with the season, by the Thank way. Thank you for having us. And welcome. And uh, Casey, hopefully you're injury free. And <laughs> don't have to pretend that you're that you're hurt. We're going to take a uh, short commercial break. Uh, we're going to be talking actually hydrotherapy. Is that right, Steve? That's next right. time. Yeah, should be good. Okay, uh, a great tool for a those with limited tool. mobility and also for rehab. It's an amazing tool. Okay, hydrotherapy is uh, the next topic on our next healthy living. Uh, you can always uh, email some questions. A morning at Ottawa at atv.ca. Let me try that one again. A morning at ATV.ca. It's not the contest line. All right, we're going to take a short commercial break. We'll be back. Plenty more still to come.